Jin Mist, and today, yeah, it's going to be me live on the screen, uh, not from the back of the lens and anything like that. Because today, uh, the topic is really like that because, like, it's so deep that I need to connect with you guys and make you understand about it. Basically, the video is more likely to focus on the Indian scene for Beyblade rather than the all around the globe, rest of the world thing. But surely you can watch the video anyways. So first of all, uh, like those who are confused about my age, I'm 21. I'm 20 years now, 21 running. So basically, I have lived through all the generations of Beyblades till now. So let's start with the first generation which we had experienced which was the plastic generation. This is a Dragoon V2 from plastic generation owned by Tyson. It's like a beast Beyblade and really famous because Tyson was like God for everyone. Obviously this Beyblade was not the only one which was a God thing for people which was uh, Dronzer V2. It was owned by Kai. Like I don't have to give any explanation but Kai was like fab fabulous like really epic so then this was the, like the first generation of Beyblades which we ever saw then uh, times changed and like we got the metal saga which was like uh, obviously many guys must be like in India I have seen all our fans of MFB like too much MFB is like a real hype in India so basically this is like one of the MFB Beyblade that's customized but it's El Drago much of it so that's lightning and drago many of you must be knowing it ryuga owns it and like jinga ryuga it was like total hype of a season all the series like metal masters metal fusion it was like total hype and like people buy the Beyblades as if the stock was like uh, getting uh, vanished from the source so basically that was a generation to like all these generations basically were uh, kind of a fantasy generations kind of thing that like using the Beyblades and all to save the world and there were some tournaments and all also in plastic generation so right now we are at a point where we have witnessed one more like the newest generation of Beyblade that is Beyblade Burst so today this video starts from here basically the main point of video is this so Beyblade Burst all around the rest of the world everyone has accepted it properly and have understood the basics of it but the problem is that in india people are still struggling to understand i'm not i'm not saying anything like indians are stupid or anything like that please don't comment anything like that really but uh, like today i am here to help you guys understand what is burst and maybe in future develop your interest towards it like mfp so MFB's metal fight Beyblades. So basically let's start with Burst. So Beyblade Burst is basically a new system of Beyblade completely uh, different from anything which you have witnessed. It is similar to Plastic Generation actually but not that similar like it has some features of Plastic Generation but not all. So we'll start with the first ever Burst Beyblade which uh, we have seen in India and like uh, I don't know, I'm not that comfortable logging in Hindi but I can try. So, like the first pehla Beyblade was like Valtrak, it is called Valkyrie in uh, the Japan uh, version and in India it is known as Valtrak V2. Basically in India, Fun School distributes the Beyblades to all the people buying and it imports Beyblades from Takara Tommy as of for burst. During uh, Metal Saga, it imported Beyblades from Hasbro. So it depends, uh, like it's like a completely different thing. So the first Beyblade which we, I'm going to introduce is Valtrak V2. It's like a attack type Beyblade obviously. Uh, the owner of this Beyblade is Walt Aoi. He's completely like Tyson. Uh, basically Tyson was much more cooler kind of thing but he is Tyson in a okay sense. So basically, uh, let's start with the parts of this Beyblade. So this Beyblade has three parts. The first part which is the most important part and hits the other opposing Beyblade is known as the layer. So this is the layer guys. So you can compare this with 
द ए आर ऑफ प्लास्टिक जनरेशन दैट्स अटैक रिंग फॉर प्लास्टिक जनरेशन इट्स द सेम थिंग जस्ट द क्लिपिंग आर डिफरेंट सो दिस इज द लेयर द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इन द लेयर इज द टीथ इफ यू कैमरा वोट फोकस एट मच फॉर there are teeth here if you can see this small gaps 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 things these are the teeth which are on the layer so for just now it's like just think about it as teeth and so let's move on to the second part the second part is a disc it is known as the forged disc it's basically provides weight to the beveled as it's made up of metal it will provide weight to the beveled and like stabilize it or maybe make it more fast for attack or anything like that so this is the weight disc which you can compare with uh, the plastic gen weight discs this is the magnet disc actually and this is the forged disc from burst so you know every beveled needs a driver uh, a tip like from mfb you know performance tip and spin track so in burst the thing is that the performance tip and the spin track are merged together and they form a driver so guys this is the driver this is the driver this driver is specifically known as variable uh, let's not get into that today i'm just going to explain what is burst so this so these are the three parts which with like every burst they will have this is the driver the force disc and the layer so these are the three parts and now let's talk about putting this beveled together so guys uh, you can clearly see these two uh, ridges here if you i'm sure you can see this these two ridges here so you, what you have to do is just take this disc align this disc with the two ridges this is the driver you just have to click the driver in and push it like uh, rotate it in the opposite direction so that's it the beveled is like put together it's as simple as putting a beveled in mfb like you screw the face bolt it's like that only nothing else so how the burst system works so let's shed the light on that thing so the burst system has teeth so this beveled can click three times one that that was 1 2 and that's 3 and it opens up so guys like i've heard many times in india about this ki beveled toot raha hai so basically it's not beveled toot raha hai it is a system like if you can google once what is the meaning of burst you will understand that burst means breaking or exploding but it doesn't mean that the thing is uh, damaged or anything like that it's the mechanism which tegaratomian uh, has developed uh, to kind of spice up the things there so basically this is the burst system in which the other beveled like when two beveleds battle one beveled can burst that means uh, it can uh, it will lose all its clicks and open up completely so this is like the opened up version it's like you can say the unassembled version that's it nothing else it's it's not breaking or anything like that i i repeat that guys it's not breaking it is just opening up due to the impact of other beveled or maybe colliding it colliding uh, f- uh, with the wall of the stadium so this is like about the burst i will uh, show few more beveled this is valtrack v2 known as Val- victory valkyrie you can say victory valkyrie or victory Val- valtrack v2 also no issues so the second one which i personally like is this is rock tower this is rock tower r2 or rising ragnarok uh, basically it's a stamina type beveled and as you know it's like uh, basically the tip is like phantom orange bearing drive but not that cool it is free spinning but you can see the beveleds are really cool they have free spinning tips and all so it's not anything boring or anything like that so this is rising ragnarok and uh, obviously as we have a tyson in this series uh, there is a kai too so this is the kai of beveled burst this is uh, spriggan Re- uh, sorry not spriggan requiem 
This is the Storm Spriggan and it's owned by Shu. Shu is like uh, definitely you can say he's like guy only. He's uh, the ultimate strong kind of kid among the group and uh, really outshines everyone. So this is Storm Spriggan, his Beyblade. The first stadium here, if you can, you don't need to see my face there. So this is the burst stadium here. It has this outer covering, the upper wall, you can say. It prevents any parts from flying out of the stadium. It's like a protection case for the bleeders or anyone around uh, watching the match or anything like that. In tournaments, it's really helpful. Like a part can fly and hit someone's eye and it can cause injury. So basically this stadium is quite well built to withstand any of those parts and keep it inside the stadium. So this is like the stadium of Wavelet Burst, official stadium used in tournaments. So that's it for today guys, uh, stay tuned for more videos, I'll be explaining Burst more further in detail and all about the Indian releases which came. I'll show you a pic now of the Indian releases which have uh, recently been uh, come in, in uh, like came in India and uh, you can get them for cheap also there are many deals going on so I'll show you the pic and stay tuned guys take care bye bye